I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. The cave is an interesting mix of platformer and point-and-click adventure that doesn't quite gel together. The writing is impressive and the puzzles challenging, but a clunky camera and camera switching system make exploring the dark caverns of the cave too much of a chore. The cave features seven characters, each of them possessing a unique and often humorous backstory narrated by the cave itself. This is ominous. Ominous? Ominous. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ominous. Uh, oh, never mind. On the surface, these characters are your typical video game heroes. The adventurer seeks treasure, the scientist seeks knowledge, and the knight must prove his bravery to win a fair maiden's hand. <laughs> The knight, he is on a quest for a sword of unequaled power and prestige. But as the story unfolds, it's clear that there's more to these characters than meets the eye. Having to control three characters at once during your journey is a pain. You have to individually manoeuvre each character across the 2D side-scrolling levels, switching between them using the D-pad. There are good reasons for doing this. Many puzzles involve having characters use objects in different places, such as pulling a faraway lever to open a door, or using a hot dog to lure a monster away from his lair while your compatriots rush in to steal the treasure within. But there are also many moments when you need to have all your characters together to solve a puzzle. And when they're spread out across a huge expanse of cave, it's a laborious process to bring them all together again. Fortunately, the platforming itself has been kept light and breezy. There aren't any difficult jumps to perform or vast caverns to traverse. And should the unthinkable happen and you die, there are no extra lives or game over screens to deal with. Like many points and clicks, there's a certain amount of video game logic to overcome, but there's rarely a solution that's too out there for you to discover. You might have to combine a bucket with a puddle of water so you can catch lit dynamite, for instance, or dive into a pool of electric eels in order to charge a flat battery and power a tape recorder. Handily, objects that you can interact with are clearly marked, which means there's no need to run around each area randomly pushing buttons in the hope of picking up a hidden object. But you'd be surprised how useless a clown can be in a high-pressure life-and-death situation. Uh -huh. The puzzles are challenging, but not overly so, even if it takes a little while to get used to the cave's three-person logic. You also have to take into account each character's special ability. For instance, the monk can pull objects towards him using telekinesis, while the twins can create a body double to interact with two objects at once. Where the special abilities truly come into play are during levels tailored to a specific character. It's there that you learn the true motivations behind their adventure. These dark tales are ethically questionable, but are told with a great sense of humour via the narration of the cave. Sure, you might not want to launch a nuclear missile that kills millions, or unleash a deadly dragon upon the unsuspecting inhabitants of a kingdom, but the cute styling of the characters, comedic voice acting, and the fact that their actions are so lamented by the cave itself means you never feel too guilty about it all. Worst first date ever. With seven characters to choose from, multiple playthroughs are the only way to see everything the game has to offer. That does mean you have to repeat some puzzles before you get to the character-specific sections, but you can easily whiz through them a second time and get to the parts that are new. Plus, the story elements and excellent narration are more than good enough to warrant another playthrough. The cave's puzzles are challenging, its story is well constructed and narrated, and its cartoon-like visuals and sprawling morphing tunnels are pleasant to look at. Its mashup of elements from platformers and point and clicks fare less well, but if you can overlook those small flaws, the cave is a dark yet humorous adventure that ably exercises the grey matter.